Hello, everybody. Just wait for a few people to pop online. I am taking over um, tonight for the beautiful Donna. So Donna is um, not feeling so good. Wait me one second and I'll just click on the comments. How is everybody going? I know I'm not the normal face that you'll be seeing, but um, I'm just taking over for for Donna and she's not feeling particularly well. And once um, a few of these are on, we might actually send her a little healing prayer. Um, that, uh, you know, might be something that's nice to do for her. So we've got 12 of you on right now. So that sounds like a lovely divine number. So if everybody can just take a few deep breaths and really just close your eyes for a few seconds and imagine the beautiful Donna in a really healed and sacred space. I'm just going to smudge my little crystal. This is my crystal, which I believe helps me connect to the internet. And I'm going to smudge my cards. So Donna, our beautiful Donna, may you find miraculous and fast healing and you wake up tomorrow completely fine, full of beans and jumping for joy. Okay, so we have got um, a couple of people on. Now, how it works with my um, StreamYard is I'll be doing my readings. My readings tend to be a little bit longer than some of the others. Uh, just keep writing um, uh, your comments you know, because they'll, they'll come in jumps. So you'll kind of see me coming towards the end of my reading and then just, just comment again and I'll kind of try my hardest to keep a track of everything. So um, we've got um, one from Dave. So Dave, um, I'm go what I do is I deal with archetype cards and uh, I'm going to ask what archetypes is going to benefit you in your future and just see what comes through. Um, sometimes it's not even about the health. It's more just like because I'm going to really focus on your future cards. I'm just going to ask what archetypes are going to be a benefit for you. Hello, Journey. How are you? Okay, so we got the self. So Dave, see how you got your little pearl of wisdom in the middle? So for this card to be coming through, it's going to be telling me that it's a real time of self-reflection. So there's aspects of yourself which will be coming forth and you really need to trust any new random ideas. So if you decide you want to start painting, writing a book, um, learning metal work, uh, anything that's really out of the normal for you, if you want to go and study to teach, anything else like that. So when this card comes through, it's when your self is going through a real shift and change and it's, there's actual aspects, so there's parts of yourself you might have suppressed and ignored for years um, because you're like, oh, that's too artistic or um, that's too arty farty or that's too spiritual and you've dismissed it. And, um, you know, it's when those little thoughts at the back of your head will pop out and then all of a sudden you really have to start working with them. Just to see what other cards I get for you, Dave. So it's going to be a deeply reflecting time. You've actually got the card of one. So, Dave, this means you're actually really um, wanting connection. So connection with spirit, connection with the, your, you know, people around you, loved ones, family and friends. So it's a card of connection to everything and wanting to really be one. It can sometimes also literally mean a time where you have like a, a, mystical, a mystical experience. So it could be a near-death experience or it could be um, a visitation from an angel or just some something that's in the realms of the unusual. And then you've got the poet. 
So the poet's a very potent card and a potent archetype, Dave. It's actually um, people who are not afraid to go into the darker psyche of themselves and other people and society and they experience it and they come back and they tell people. So this is another card which is usually for a writer, a teacher, um, a counsellor, somebody who acts as the bridge. And by the bridge I mean somebody comes to you and they tell you yeah, they, they want advice and you're on this side and you give them the advice to get them to the other side. So it's a teaching, it's healing, it's psychic gifts, um, things like that. So you, you're not afraid to, to go into the darker sides and really ask questions, who am I, what am I here for, all of those kinds of aspects. Why did this happen to me? Um, and, and, and delve into that and then come back and teach it to other people. So I hope that really... Um, uh, I really hope that really helped. I hope you have the best of healing yourself. You continue forth with um, your amazing journey and I wish you all the best. Okay. Let's go this one here. All right, Alicia, what archetypes would benefit you? Let's get you some cards, my love. Um. Dave, it might be on hold at the moment, Dave, but if these cards have come forth and that's what you were doing, that's telling you that it's really important. But flip your thinking and look at everything that's happened to you now and how much of a better um, counsellor and social worker you're going to be able to be for people in similar roles. So I actually think that this is going to, you're going to be able to help a lot more people through this. And, um, you, you know, there, there has to be a lot of people that have gone through um, such trauma, but they haven't got those archetypes in them, which is to be that bridge and to be that teach and be able to articulate all the emotions that that trauma brings up because a lot of people can experience it but they can't articulate it and heal with it so i would you know start journaling everything that you go through because you'll be able to help people with it so these cards all are aligning with what you were doing with uni and yes it's on the hold but this is like a really hard lesson for you but you're going to be able to do amazing things with it so I, you know, um, I take my hat off to you and may you heal miraculously fast. Okay, Alicia, let's see what archetypes are going to benefit you, my love. You got the riddle. So the riddle comes in when you're feeling quite confused about something. So you literally can't stop asking why, 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 why. And your head, uh, when you go to sleep at a night time, you'll kind of like be going over, I should have said this. Or did they really mean that when they were saying that? And like you question everything. Um, I'm just going to see what other cards come forth and see what else I can get. Okay. Um, the threshold so alicia this usually means that um a feeling like you're you're about to have to take a leap of faith something's coming on your horizon something is um about to happen something is we're going to require you to stand on that cliff edge and actually take that leap of faith off and you do not know what is going to be at the bottom of the cliff is the water going to be deep is there going to be rocks is it going to be shallow so i wonder whether or not you've actually got a choice and that's what that riddle is all about you know there's something that you're being like oh should i start a business should i change my career should i move um and it's actually beginning a bigger bigger feeling you, you know should i stay in a relationship should i ask the commitment should i have a child like it feels like a big question so when i say a big question it's like one of the the big ones in life that requires um 
a lot of thought and it also triggers fear. Just going to get a third card for you, my love. The gem. So, Alicia, the gem comes forth when it is a part of ourselves that needs to be shined up so or developed. It can be hidden facets of ourselves that, you know, are, are going to come forth. So if you're wanting to start a business, well, then the un entrepreneur comes forth and then you have to deal with all the fears and stuff that are based around that. But then, you know, you really have to... Um, buff up with that gem that is you so that all parts of yourself can shine through sounds about right asking all those questions business moving and yes fear i really kind of felt it was more it's like um when i get when i draw a card sometimes i get like a it's it's like this kind of energy and it's more than one thing so i'm not surprised that it is business and moving so you're going to just have to take that leap of faith but this card is really asking you to uh, look at your personality and go, well, if I move or if I start this business, what is the personality traits that I need to bring forth, which is going to serve me best? So you get a little bit logical about it as you're taking that leap of faith, if that makes sense. So um, these cards and the energy around them is just like, do it, you know, put, you know, um release the fear and take that dive just dive off the cliff and go for it okay so i hope that made sense my love next is d kinross you would like a card so um I don't know if you have noticed the little banner that I put across, uh, but I have got this Sunday a free Zoom teaching. Uh, it's going to be at 10 o'clock um, Brisbane time, but it's going to be recorded. So if you can't be there, I can still send it. So I'm going to discuss the three archetypes that really um, make us feel lost. We, we just don't know who we are anymore. We're questioning our values. We're questioning our purpose. We're questioning, like, are we really happy? Am I, am I happy? I don't even know what happy look, happiness looks like anymore. So I go into the three archetypes, which is going to be the shapeshifter, the empath, and the martyr and i'll look at the light and shadow aspects so i've got the um description uh in the uh write-up and uh, the link and you can register there it's all free and uh, i just want it to be quite informal you know so I, it's going to go for probably around 30 or 40 minutes and then some question and answer time if i get there all righty um cindy you're the empath and you should definitely um uh you should definitely register cindy because there's actually shadow aspects of the empath that we don't realize if you if you stay in the empath too long it can cause actually a lot of havoc so it's one of those archetypes which you have to um really balance yourself otherwise you give too much and I'll go, I'll go into that on Sunday so I can do as many readings as possible. All right, Dee. Let's see. You still on here, Dee? I'm just going to do a general reading and I'm going to see what comes up for you, my love. We got the offering. So, Dee, this card comes up when um, we're really wanting something but we also have to sacrifice something. So what I mean by that is um, if you're going to want to start a business, you have to sacrifice all your fears and doubts. Um, if you want to uh, manifest a new car, then you might have to sacrifice um, going out to dinner, you know, once a week and different things like that. that uh, like when it comes to um, really emotional stuff you really have to be willing to make that sacred vow and so you know I'm releasing the fears I'm releasing this uh, and and sacrifice your your fears and doubts now I'm just going to see what else comes through through 
we have an initiation card called Animal Monday. So this is really um, deep work on trusting your intuition and that connection with everything. It's the spirit of the world. It's, it's very shamanic. It's very esoterical. So you're being really pushed to trust your intuition. Um, take that divine action on your intuition. So coupling that with the offering card is telling me, um, Dee, that this is a, a spiritual journey as well for you. Um, you've gone, yes, I'm fearful of being alone and no partner. It's deeper than that, um, Dee. It's not just being um, alone. It's like you don't trust yourself or maybe you don't love yourself enough. And the, that partner's not going to come into your um, life until you actually learn all these lessons of really deeply loving yourself and your self-worth, knowing exactly what kind of a partner you would like to manifest in so that you don't have to have any lessons of boundaries or being hurt or used. Um, so I'm just going to get your final card, darling. The Seed. So I think this is actually um, very spiritual and I don't know if you got thinking that the reading was going to go this way but when I lay these three cards out um, they're all about your intuition they're all about your trust but see that seed card how it's got that pearl right at the center which is it's your wisdoms and planting the correct seeds so if you think of your psyche and if you're wanting a relationship or you're wanting to manifest anything, you have to plant seeds and then you have to nurture them and you have to love them and put your energy into them. You can't plant and grow a 100 trees at once because that's just too full on. But if you just pick a couple of ideas, a couple of creative things, a couple of things you want to do and you really nurture it, then that's that's that power but it's highly creative energy so if you're being called to learn any spiritual oh what happened then um i just bumped something uh exit full screen have i still got everybody oh there we go um so if you're being um if you're being drawn to learn cards astrology Reiki, uh, meditation, yoga, anything that's going to be nourishing, um, learning to write, um, any of those kind of things, I think that's going to be really beneficial for you. And through that process, as you're doing that, you'll learn about yourself even deeper and then you'll start to love yourself more and then you're going to manifest somebody who's going to truly love you. I hope that all made sense, my love. Just going to smudge the cards because we've had a few readings. I completely understand what you're saying. And my seed planning is working on me, which I have started. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So. Karen. Let's see what we can get for you, my love. Ooh, it's the river. This is a card and an archetype of deep surrendering. So it's asking you to go with the flow. So that usually means that you're in a turbulent um, uh, position now or you're about to head into one I actually feel like it's now so it's like you've had a bit of a bit of things happening left right and center and you're like oh, you know you just have to go into a bit of survival mode um, uh, Natika oh beautifully explained thank you gorgeous I love my archetypes they bring me so much soul joy being able to help people with them okay Karen you also got um, the forest. So, Karen, that's also, um, it, it's very elemental, but it's you feeling a little bit lost. So there's a saying, and it says it in the description of these cards, like if you go into a forest and you don't get lost, you've never really um, been in that forest or words to that effect. So it can be, there's almost so many, there's only so many trees 
um and you're just like oh so many ideas and so many like boom 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 and you're like bombarded and you're like what is going on right now um so i'm just gonna get you a third card the animal so this is all about being really comfortable in your own skin on a really primal level so this is um all about self-love and your journey into yourself and self-worth my friends seem to be dropping off lately um when I shift vibration, Karen, and I kind of either grow up or I have a spiritual epiphany or I just suddenly can't stand people who lie or, you know, I have shifts within myself, then I will have friends that disappear out of my life as well. But I've also got the power to call in new ones that are at my frequency and my level. So I just kind of feel like you've had a, a real... Um, in transformational time with just all kinds of weird stuff happening to you so i feel like your spirit and your soul is just like going okay we need to make some changes um and it's time for um you know some change to happen so for that animal card to come through um like do you love yourself um are you happy with your skin? Are you happy with your body? Do you think you're too thin? Do you think you're too fat? Do you um, think you're ugly? Like, you know, these are um, rough questions, but that's that archetype. You, you know, like I've, <laughs> I, I'm not a skinny person. I don't like putting on tons of makeup and I don't, um, uh, you know, you know, put a lot of effort into being overly feminine because I just, it just doesn't, it's not me. But I've had to do a lot of journeying with this card and this archetype to be comfortable enough to get on live and talk to all you divinely amazing people. But that's the truth of it. You've got to really go in and just go, this is who I am. I'm fucking amazing. I'm not going to apologise for it. If you can't understand my amazingness then I'm going to find people that do and that's the strength of this card it's the third one it's in your future as well so you can really be stepping into that level of confidence and and self-love and expression so um they're all telling me to stop being so happy and enthusiastic you need more self-love Karen, there's two amazing archetypes. One's called the eternal child. Um, and oh, and um, oh, that just made me lose the, the eternal child and the maiden. Now, if you're enthusiastic and you're joyful and um, you're lovely and, uh, you know, peaceful, all, all those things, that's who you are. You don't have to apologize for it and what can happen to um, the eternal child and the maiden is that over time people tell them stop grow up stop doing this stop 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 and you start to think there's something wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you at all it's just your archetype styling and you're a superpower in the society people need joyful childlike awesome amazing optimistic people Otherwise, we're all just going to die shriveled up, miserable assholes. Sorry for swearing. Um, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's the people like you that remind grumpy people that it's okay to have a smile, but it can be a huge burden at time to carry. So don't ever let anybody try and squish that. You need to go and find people that are wise enough to uh, understand and adore that. You know, I've got a, um, a Facebook group called The Sovereign Circle with Jess Beard. I didn't put a link in it, but if you go to my Facebook page, you'll be able to find it from there. It's only a small bunch of people, but they're all amazing and they're not going to judge you for being optimistic. You need to find groups of people like that who are going to support you and love you for who you are. And anyone else, you can tell them to get effed. I'm swearing a lot today. It's kind of unusual because I'm usually not a swearer. Okay, now let's go. 
Oh, that just popped up. Thank you. You are most welcome. All right, Carrie, let's see what we've got for you. So we have the bridge. So the bridge is um, a card where, you know, you're either on a journey from point A to point B or you are literally going to be the bridge. So you're going to be a teacher or a counsellor, a healer, um, a shaman, a crone, any of these things, a poet. They're all bridge aspects and bridge cards as well. We have that threshold. So something's about to happen. You, you know, you're feeling like you need to take a leap of faith. Um, what's the name of your Facebook again? So my page is um, Jess Beard Dash Inner Alchemist. That should be in the description of this. Um, but my actual group is Sovereign Circle with Jess Beard. So I should get a link for you and put it in the comments if you can't find it. Um, so yeah, you're more than welcome to join, darling. I um, lovely bunch of women. They're amazing. All right, Carrie, your third card. Let's see what this leap of a faith is about. Oh, hello, Michelle. How are you? So you've got the mentor. So, Carrie, are you wanting to be a teacher or a counsellor um, or a healer or any or a psychic reader, something that teaches people? Because... Your reading is very much in that field, being the bridge from A to B, teaching people come to you and you lead them to the answer. Threshold, requiring you to take a leap of faith. And you've got mentor, which, you know, is that, that's why I asked about being a teacher or a healer or somebody rather that mentors other people. It could mean that you're going to be looking for a teacher that's going to teach you um, to be the bridge. So it's a very interesting energy. Um, I haven't seen any more life coaching and healing. Okay, so that makes sense for being the bridge. Now these are you've got two archetypes: that mentor and that bridge, which is really affirming that they're in your field. But that threshold is requiring you to take some leaps of faith. So if there is your intuition is going, do this do this and you're kind of ignoring it then it, it's a real you must do it if you've got fear about launching some program or buying something or that's going to help you um, with the business or reaching out to other people to collaborate and things like that you need to just take that leap of faith because um, this card doesn't come up unless it requires you to take a leap of faith you, you know, you're, you can feel it almost. It's like you're trembling on the side of the cliff and you're like, I can't see what's down there, but I'm going to have to just leap. So um, uh, still very, very positive, but really work with that intuition and take that leap of faith, darling. And, um, yeah, go for it. And don't be afraid if you need to get coaching in different other areas. You know, I, I coach with my archetypes. I can shift anybody with self-esteem and um, soul esteem issues. But I, would, I don't know how to market myself if my life depended on it. So I, that's what I've been getting coaching on. So if there's different aspects of your business which you don't know how to do, don't, don't, don't think to yourself, well, just because I'm a life coach that I can't go and get coaching or help or do a course or something or other in a different area because it's just a way of educating yourself. And, and I saw it like this. How can I expect people to pay me to, for me to coach them if I'm not willing to put my money where my mouth is and get coaching where I need it as well? So I just feel like maybe there's some intuition or something you've been dismissing because you feel like you should um, be able to do it and, and, and calling yourself a life coach as well. There's something there as well. So you might require a couple of leaps of faith in a couple of different areas. So, yeah. Now, I don't know what archetypes as well. Well, Jess Lopez, I'll just answer this one because it might um, help people. 
So uh, an archetype is, it's basically a primordial um, language that's in the subconscious, but it's also in our bodies. So if you go to someone in Spain and someone in South Africa and someone in Portugal and you ask them to tell you the characteristics of a mother, they're all going to be able to describe the mother in a very similar way nurturing protective of mother I'm, I'm talking about mother in light because there's mothers in shadows as well but you know protects their young um nurturing providing you know comfort emotional all those things um if you go to somebody um in different countries total different languages and ask them what's the characteristics of a thief they're going to be able to describe a thief to you or describe a detective or a pirate you know any of those things it's it's in our global collective so they don't even speak english and they'll still be able to describe it because it's just there so when i talk archetypes to people it helps them with their logical mind but they also understand it in their hearts and then they feel it in their bones so that's why i call it primordial or well, well carl jung the grandfather of um all um archetypes coined that today coined that term but that's why it is primordial because we just understand it it's um it's a language so when i help people with their self-esteem um or their self-sabotaging patterns i speak to their archetypes and i get them to re-language their triggers and understand you know you know logically what they're doing but then they feel it and they really can work with it it's quite profound so did you ask a question jess as well okay let's get you a card might just smudge these cards again i do them every couple of people Dun -dun -dun. but did that make sense on what an archetype is jess okay like a divine mayor oh cindy that's lovely conscious and creative visual production guide is my subheading for spark of divine okay what have we got for you jess you also got that animal so um you're you're on a, a journey of self-love and understanding who you are um you're stand, standing you just being happy in your skin you've got the village which has got twofold so hang on a second i'm gonna get the third card oh straight away that one okay being really comfortable in your skin so I just said talked about this one beforehand about really loving yourself understanding who you are the good and the bad aspects of you and really truly loving who you are your body your soul your mind your emotions um okay my my comments just did a weird little glitch um the village card this comes through forward when there's two aspects to it. So it's it's telling you to surround yourself with a village of really supportive people as you're on your journey of self-love and stuff. If you have anybody that's calling you names and belittling you, um, telling you you're less than uh, anything about your image, if they're calling you stupid, if they, you know, you're silly, grow up, you're ugly anything that is negative and makes you question your self-worth then they are the negative part of the village they're not supportive and this card and this archetype asking you to shift those out of your life it's hard if they're family members or a partner if they're a partner i'd be inclined to either tell them you know it's over unless they stop doing it um, or just leave if it's your family member, then you need to kind of just draw away. 
Um, that sounds so harsh, but at this time, while you're building your confidence, um, you really need to surround yourself with people who are going to nourish you. You've got that king. So the king is divine action. It's the masculine side of you. But it also can be um, if you have toxic males in your life, you really need to shift them out. You really need to move them on. Um, and uh, if you can't confront them because they're bullies um, or they're narcissistic, then um, you need to come up with a game plan to exit, like an exit strategy, and, and just shift them out of your life. Because, um, you know, this card, there's no escaping the animal. <laughs> you, you really are on that journey of, of loving yourself and um, seeing yourself as amazing and whole and on such a deep primordial level loving yourself. Now, this can take you 10 years to learn it. It can take you 10 months, 10 weeks or 10 days. Or 10 hours it, it really depends on the level of where you're at and what you're willing to do in order to shift out of it but it's a it's no escaping that beautiful animal it's a full-on card remember to take action and find people that support you because you can do this darling you can do it it's a bit of a full-on reading so I um it's always a bit hard when I'm the bearer of bad news. That's not really bad news. I feel like I'm telling you stuff you already know um, and you needed confirmation tonight. And you're amazing. I'm going to tell it to you and you need to tell it to yourself 500 times a day until you fully believe it. Okay. Yes, 100%. I've never felt so unhappy with myself until now. Yeah. It, that this card comes through and you can't hide from it but it's also it's like you can use it for the positive as well all of these archetypes have lights and shadow so really work with it um on on sunday i have a free um i could put the link in the description and i have a free um archetype teaching about the shape shift of the martyr and um the empath and these three can really help, you know, they build up and they build up and then you can start to lose your sense of self and you become unhappy. You just don't know who you are. So I'm going to go into the teachings of those. It's free. It's recorded. So if you can't attend, just register and I will email it to you. And I think it'll be really beneficial for you to just understand that a little bit more. Maybe there's a, a reason you're here learning about archetypes because they can really help you with that animal archetype and, and the, the self-love. It's amazing. Okay. I'm glad that one, um, you know, worked for you though, darling. And it made sense. And that... What have we got for you in it? The self. It's really interesting tonight. It's all of you are really, I don't know if you're all drawn to this because you're all going through some pretty potent um, lessons of self love and self, all about the self. So, um, you know, most of the reading has been all of you on this really big journey of self. Okay. Ooh the storm so um i'll just get the third card for you in it and then i'll describe them to you oh this is interesting see the little pearl this is you sharing your wisdoms this is you bringing out parts of yourself that need to be learned it's a time when you are really need to start honoring any, any little thoughts that come up, oh, I want to go and learn to this, I want to be a teacher, I want to be a counsellor, I want to be a painter, I want to be a writer. It's um, really potent to an aspects of the self are wanting to come forth and, and you know, your wisdoms, your teachings, you, you know, whole new aspects of self. And see how they're radiating out from your centre? You, you know, you really got to work on this. The storm is chaos. 
So this is either you're in the middle of a storm in a teacup with lots of chaotic energy. It can be toxic, crazy people around you. It can be family drama. Um, it can be workplace drama. It, you just almost, it, it's like a lightning bolt of epiphanies at times, but it's just swift and sudden, sudden change. And you're like, where did that come from? So it can be a real chaotic time when that's, you know, coming up with the self card it could be maybe there's parts of you your intuition saying go learn this um annette and you're like what and then you're, you're really fighting it and then all these things start going wrong um, um yes um i have a new group called new earth soulpreneurs for business co-creating new earth that might interest you um, that's lovely, darling. Um, it is kind of promoting yourself though. <laughs> did you want a reading or did you want to just promote yourself? Um, so the village, this is a uh, twofold. So it is, um, like I said before, so finding a really supportive, um, uh, group of people that are going to help you through things or, um, it's going to be uh, also culling the, the toxic people out of your life. So, oh, you've wrote, okay, yes, right. So, Annette, if you're really getting the push to move from your job or start something new, branch out, do some kind of real change, and it's a, to get away from toxic people uh, or drama, then I really, I, I'd suggest really pursuing that avenue of thought because the village is really supportive. Um, it's really, you, you, you know, you need that nourishment as you're going through with new aspects of self. If you go around toxic and dramatic people constantly, it just wears on your energy down, 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 down. So it, it's really quite full on. So um, I would be... I'm just trying to tune into your to your energy, darling, and it's it's kind of a bit chaotic um, for me to get through. But that could be just um, myself and not you. Or if you're in that chaotic storm energy, then maybe I'm I'm um, cluing into you um, uh, about that storm. So I really just feel like you need to get rid of and get away from toxic people. Does that make sense, Annette? Or am I totally off field? And if you're drawn to doing something like meditation groups or yoga, something that's going to be with people more aligned, then um, I think you really need to pursue that as well so that if you're getting rid of the toxic people, you are replacing them with healthy friendships and relationships because I don't want you to do so much carving away that at the same time you don't have any support because that village card's got that to... Um, two uh, sides to it yes yeah, right i have been doing that perfect okay um perfect all right cindy let's see what cards we have for you i'll just smudge those cards again hello sandy uh, yes, and thank you, lovely. Perfect, Anita. Continue to cull away the toxic people, but don't forget to find supportive people. If you can't do it physically in your area, do it online, you know. Okay, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Oh, I've smudged these cards. I swear to God, I've smudged them multiple, multiple times. So um, this does happen to me sometimes when um, a or it's in the astrology. So maybe with the grand cross that's coming, we're all having to face, um, you know, are we comfortable in our skin? Is there anything that needs to be brought up? Are we holding on to a fear or a doubt? Are we having a judgment that somebody is judgmenting towards us and we need to actually heal that? 
I feel like, Cindy, you've been doing, I think you've had this card and this archetype for a while and it's been going layer upon layer through you and um, it's like, does your family judge you or um, let me just pull the other cards. Do you judge yourself in some aspect? I'm just going to see what the other two are first before I say any more. Oh, we got the pilgrim. Pilgrim is a soul journey. Sometimes it's a physical journey. So that's telling me that you've been on, a, a, you know, your spiritual journey. It feels like for quite a while as well. Okay. And the gem and the gifts and talents. Let me just take a sip, darling. Okay. So that animal card, um, as I've said, you're the third person, I believe. It's all about that self-love and aspects of yourself. You've been on the spiritual journey for quite a while, but for it to still be in your cards, you're still on that spiritual journey. So you've got the third card as the gem. So I would not be surprised if even further um, gifts and talents started to come forth more strongly for you. And if you have any doubts or fears about it, then you really need to work with the energies at the moment and release that. I've been saying an, an affirmation. Um, so I have the archetype of the priestess. I get so much joy and soul joy out of being of service to people but the seer which is my ability to read these cards is another aspect of the priestess but it's also an archetype and I've been really asking for that to anchor into my field even deeper and it, it has been working like weird things will happen and I won't go into it but I am um, uh, it, it, you know, call it in. So there's there's more layers and, and there's more facets to come through and you're going to have to really embrace them. And, and when you go on that pilgrimage, you know, try you know, when you walk the Camino, it ain't easy, you, you know, and I feel like it's been quite a journey for you, but there's still more. And, and, and it's these um, gems and these facets that are really got to come forth that are going to really um, help you and become even more amazing than you already are so i feel like it, it might even be a sudden onset um of a, of a total new gift or a real a, you know widening of one and work with um i feel like uh divine intuition is quite strong you what you trust your intuition but maybe you need to also work on taking that action in the now so you don't lose the energy of when that intuition's coming through because it's almost like you get the intuition to do such and such, leave it for a few days and then you like go into procrastination or it just fizzles out and you don't have that energy anymore. So I don't know if you've all been really experiencing this, but I have. It's like time is vertical, vertical manifestation, vertical ideas, boom, boom, boom. And time is weird. I'll lose a day here or there. I can't remember different things. So time is not vertical anymore. It's um, so take that divine action if if you're really getting pushed for something. Um, that's totally spot on. Yeah, perfect, darling. I um I actually feel like you, I think you've had a very similar journey to myself in many ways because. Um, that's something that I've been really calling in and working on as well and um, uh, is taking that divine action. Otherwise, you'll, you'll have a fantastic idea and then three, day, three days later, if you haven't taken action upon it, it's like you're like, yeah, I don't feel it anymore. So it's a bit weird, but it's just vertical time. All righty. I'm diving around in my journey, stronger every day. Perfect, Cindy. All right, Laura. Um, I would love a card if you're drawn to me. Thank you. For the new people who have logged on, um, on Sunday, I'll just smudge these cards while I'm talking about it. On Sunday, I've got a free Zoom teaching. I'm going to talk about three archetypes. 
which is helping us to feel a little lost and confused. So who am I? What's my purpose? What am I doing? Why do I keep doing things for everybody else and not for me? Am I happy? You know, don't even know who you are anymore. Those kinds of feelings. So it's completely free. If you can't attend, um, I'll record it and I can send it to you. But I just think it's really potent and needed at this moment. And one of them is the shapeshifter, the martyr and the empath. The shapeshifter has been coming up so much for people. It's just not funny. So that's actually uh, in one of my previous lives on my page um, that I, I decided to... I was going to do this and I committed to, to doing it for people. So it's going to be informal, um, but it's going to, um, you know, I just want to, I just need the information to get out there and help people. Well, Laura, you have got the river. This is not Crimea River. This is um, surrender to the flow. So let's see what other cards come through for you, Blossom. Oh, you've got the womb, create tricks. Mm. Okay, Laura, I actually feel like this is, um, all three of these cards is very much about the divine feminine and, and allowing yourself to embody the, the divine feminine aspects. I say that because um, you're being asked to surrender. So when we're being asked to surrender to the flow, and um, it can also be it's water, it's emotional as well. Um, when we're being asked to go with the flow and, you know, you're the leaf floating on the river, sometimes it's calm, sometimes it's a ripple, sometimes there's rapids, sometimes there's a waterfall. Um, and you, you just have to go with whatever the river's presenting preventing presenting to you so it's highly adaptable now you've got two really interesting um cards next laura you have the womb which is um highly creative it's embodying your power as a woman it's manifestation by um loving yourself uh, you can create and manifest by literally imagining whatever you're wanting to manifest in your womb, you know, womb work. So it is also it's reflective of the divine feminine. You've got the mask. So this card comes through when, you know, you have to take that mask off and you need to express and let people see the true you beneath. So if you have... Um, desires to do women's workshops or go to um, women's circles, anything that's to do with the feminine aspects. There and you might uh, and see the mask can also be a warning. So if somebody is lying to you or um, is like you know being fake, it can also be a little bit of a warning against that. But I actually feel like it's more you need to reveal your truths as a woman, your power as a woman. Um, your intuition as a woman so it's uh, you know like a really beautiful feeling from this so it's just like you, you need to really embrace all the amazing powers and go forth and either teach it or be surrounded with the energies of other women as they are supporting you it's really lovely I don't know how else to describe it to you but I just feel warm and like I'm being hugged you know so the, it's a really beautiful reading if you have any issues around um, seeing yourself as divinely perfect and divinely feminine, um, then, you know, you really have to work on that because you're gorgeous and, you know, you need to surround yourself in that real feminine energy. Um, reading about any of the archetypes of the feminine um, or Mary Magdalene or Mother Mary, Anna, Grandmother of Jesus is an amazing book. Um, uh, any, who else? Uh, Woman Who Runs With Wolves. Um, you know, th those kinds of things that just make you go, I love being a woman. I'm going to roar with power, you know. 
that wasn't a very good roar, was it? It sounded more like a squeaky tiger, but you got what I mean. Okay, let's see. I'm going to smudge these cards yet again. All right, Kristen Fox. We have got you next. Oh, I love, I love the fox picture. So gorgeous. Seeking guidance. Should I embrace the proposed business opportunity? So let's see what happens with these cards. Laura, you're amazing. Look at, you know, I really want you to delve into the divine feminine teachings. So really look into it. Find, um, you know, start type in the, uh, um, uh, Megan Watterson. She's just wrote a book um, about Mary Magdalene, but she wrote a book before that called Reveal. That just instantly popped into my head. Um, and other books like that. I think you really need to start looking at some nourishing uh, parts based around the power of being a woman and accepting it. And I feel that that's going to really nurture you with, your, with any kind of mental health issues as well. I um, And uh, it can't hurt, you know, it can only embolden. And really get you to feel, you know, deep inside you, that sense of worth and, and who you are. It's beautiful. Okay, Kristen. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Um, I don't mean to brag, Laura, but I think archetypes do make perfect sense. So that's why I've fallen in love with them. Love They make logical sense, but you feel them in your heart and then you feel them in your body and your DNA. So... I um I like that you say it like that because that's how I feel them as well. Kristen, I'm. You've asked, should you embrace the proposed business opportunity? And I'm actually going to say no. I know that sounds um a little bit radical but let me show you the cards you have the poet so the poet has that archetypal ability to go into the dark side of psyches the dark lessons in life um a, you know it's also dealing with other people's crap so uh, other people's toxicity it can be um uh, they could be narcissistic um they could have all kinds of things and you're going to have to deal with that energy and work your way through it or they can or whatever happens in the workplace sends you into that darker place. The next card is the mountain and that's when you have to go in deep to get your gems of information inside of yourself and um, it, you become a little bit reclusive but the answers are all within. Um, because you've asked whether or not to embrace a proposed business, that's not a that's not an easy card. That's a deeply self-reflective go within. Um, I'm lonely in the mountain while I'm digging through my soul kind of energy. Then you've got the tear as well. So that's literally tears. It's embracing the emotions of crying and letting go and death and rebirth. So if you go forth with this um, business opportunity, I could say that it's not going to be easy and it's going to bring up a lessons that are hard. Um, and you might actually have, you, that might be what your soul's calling you to. Um, but I, I'm just getting a don't do it. 
So I think you need to do a bit of soul work and, and really tr go in and really look at your instincts. But because that poet card come in and it deals with the darker psyche, I just wonder whether or not um, whoever your business partners could actually be uh, either narcissistic or shapeshifters or they've got that mask and they're like fake happy but beneath it um, they're actually toxic. So I would be really careful um, and I don't normally say an outright no to anybody but then again this is the, there was not one really light or fluffy card in those three they were all kind of well if you do this it's going to be hard that's basically what those archetypes were saying um so i wish you luck with that and i and i hope that helped even though it wasn't particularly um fun um and uh you know uh trust your instincts you know that's all I can say. Even after my reading, just trust your instincts and really look at every single dynamic that you're going to have to be with because you don't need toxic people in your life. You don't need drama, no drama karma, none of it. Okay, Michelle. Does that make sense, um, Kristen? Okay. Michelle, um, oh, perfect, Laura. I, let me know um, whether or not you like it. I have a wonderful Facebook group um, called uh, Sovereign Circle with Jess Beard. You can come in. Um, so one of the ladies actually recommended the book to me as well, and I'm about to to read that one, um, uh, uh, the Mary Magdalene. I've read Reveal, so you know you can come in and tell me what you think about it. They're a lovely bunch of ladies. Michelle Nielsen with the beautiful puppy dog. You've got the hunter. Um, so. Um, Oh, sorry, Sandy. I my um my cards the comments jump up and down um because there's a little bit of a delay. So um it's not really um about whether or not I feel you. I just kind of don't get to see your comments just as I'm ending, kind of thing. Um, so sorry about that. It's not it's not a personal judgment. Um, yeah. the nectar um so michelle 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 you've got a lovely reading in a slightly odd way it feels really good so you are pursuing something the horse pursues the light see how all the lights are streaming to a focal point so it's, you know, you're hunting, 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 and you're in the pursuit of something. And the next card is like literally my favorite in the whole deck. It is um, the nectar card. So it's all about soul joy, soul nourishment, all the things that make you feel amazing. It's, um, you know, being deeply in love with yourself, the world, everything. So uh, but with that hunter energy, you need, you know, pursuit of self. So I think you need to make 2021 the year of just nourishing yourself on every single level. I get just such a lovely feeling from your reading. Kairos is an initiation card. We haven't seen that many. I think only one more, one other one. So there's only eight of these cards in the whole thing. And um, this one is all about divine timing, trusting your intuition and working with divine timing. Your perceptions of time change. So you might, if you've been like, okay, I'll meet you at nine o'clock and such and such, and you're very like um, time orientated, you might have lessons with time as well. You might feel like you've lost a day or like I was talking about earlier, how time feels like it's 
vertical and and not horizontal anymore, not linear. So, um, but really of all aspects, that card is this layer upon layer of trusting divine timing, trusting your intuition, taking action in the moment and all lessons around that and just trusting yourself as well with that, you know, and all about that sacred divine timing. It's synchronicities as well and signs. And uh, so it's actually really lovely. So I hope that one, I just realised I've gone over time by like five minutes. Um, so I'm just going to hope that helped Michelle and I better get this packed up. Remember, guys, um, on Sunday, free training on the three archetypes that make us feel lost. Um, if you don't know who you are, what your purpose is, if you're happy, you, you've got no sense of identity because you've been giving it to other people, all that just feeling really soul lost, like, oh, what am I doing? You know, what should I be doing? All those kinds of questions. So I'll go into the three main archetypes, their light and shadow aspects. You can sign up. Um, the description is in the blurb. There's a link and you just click on the Sunday fill out the form, click register and you'll get your Zoom link. It'll be recorded if you can't attend and I will be emailing it out to everybody. And I hope to see you all there because it's just, um, I really, you know, I promise to do the ladies um, this because, you know, the shape shift has been coming up. So it's really important. Um, Dee, you're amazing. I really love your energy. Thank you. Thank you, Dee. You've been gorgeous as well. Um, I do uh, free readings over on my page. Um, so that's in the link as well. So it's just Beard in a dash in an alchemist. And um, so it's a bit random. Whenever I'm feeling in the mood, I'll just pop on and whoever appears live is get, get does get reading. So it's another, another nice way I, I reach out to people as well when I'm in the mood. And it's got my different, you know, um lessons and teachings on archetypes and just other things that are really relevant at the moment as well so without further ado i'm going to wish you all amazing night and um donna who i was taking over for um she's not very well so remember to send donna some love and healing so that she wakes up miraculously healed tomorrow with not a pain or an issue she is just full of zinging buzzing delightful joyful energy and she springs out of bed with zest and pep and she feels a million bucks that's my dream for her my wish for her and so much love to all of you bye